Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at the inertia matrix and how to understand it when we're designing a ship. So first, when you go into build mode, you're going to see the build helper here at the top. There's the icon here with the rotation symbol on it called axis rotations. Click that. That's going to bring up your axis rotations where you have your torque and your inertia, inertia matrix. Okay, let's hop in the ship and then we'll talk about what those do. Okay, so I'm going to bring up an overlay here that will help us visualize this matrix and understand how this affects our ship so that when we are designing our ship, we know how it's going to move before we even get in and fly it. Okay, so looking over here at the left at our inertia matrix, now, this is just an overlay. You can't actually see this when you're in the ship in game. I've just put this on here to make it easier to uh, talk about it. We have our torque here. This is the force we have based on our adjusters on our ship and their location. Down here is the inertia matrix. We have our X, Y, and Z. And then we also have our X, Y, and Z. Okay, these are the rotation axis on our ship, as you can see from the overlay over here. These are called your diagonals. And we're gonna think of these as our primary outputs. These are the results that we want when we yaw, roll, or pitch. These numbers are called the off diagonals. We're going to consider these our unintended effects when we do pitch, yaw, or roll. These are the things that also are going to happen. So how do we read this? Now what happens is our force is input into the matrix and it outputs our angular acceleration about an axis. We're not going to worry about that calculation. We're just going to consider these numbers as our applied force so we can visualize what it does. We're going to start with the z-axis, which is yaw, because that's going to be easier to demonstrate while I'm sitting here on the runway. So if I yaw right, so if I input yaw, my yaw force is 40,000 in the z-axis. So if we look at our z-axis, that causes a rotation around a z. Now if we look at our matrix, we can see in the y-axis, I also have negative 1,000. So what does that do? That is going to make me roll in uh, around y, y's axis. And I also have 34,000 in X, which is going to cause me, this one's positive, which means it's going to pitch counterclockwise. So, by looking at this, when I pitch, I'm going to roll to the right, and I'm going to pitch down. Now let's see this in action. And all I'm going to do is hit D to yaw to the right. And you'll see what happens. I roll and pitch. I'll change my camera so you can kind of see. As I yaw, I get roll and pitch. So that is an example of how you can look at this matrix while you're building your ship and placing your adjusters. You can see the effect. Now, as I've just demonstrated yawing to the right, let me clarify these negative numbers a little bit more and positive numbers. Your primary diagonal will always be obviously in the direction you're rotating. So if I'm yawing right, it's going to rotate around the axis in that direction, yawing left, 
will rotate that direction. It's easiest just to think of it in the one direction and then just mirror it. So when going to the right, a negative number will be clockwise. And that's if you imagine you're looking along the axis in that direction, you'll rotate clockwise if the number is negative. If the number is positive, like in the x-axis, um, we pitch down. If you look along the axis, it's counterclockwise. So that's how I could see, because this was positive, I knew I would pitch down. This one was negative, which would be clockwise. So I knew I would roll to the right. So that is kind of the basics of how you can read this. We'll go take a look at another ship that's uh, a little bit more simplified. So over here we have our inertia matrix example. Now this is a very balanced ship. If we go into build mode here, pull up its inertia matrix, we can see here our primary rotations, all pretty much 1,000, and our off diagonals are almost zero. It's almost impossible to have a perfectly balanced ship unless you have all the elements in the exact same position on all sides. So I've moved them you know, to get it as close as possible as I could on this ship. So if we hop in, now these are so small, we can basically say that if I yaw, that's all I'm going to get is yaw. I'll have such a small amount in the other axis that I won't tilt or pitch pretty much at all because it's so balanced. So if I bring up my overlay here, Uh, ignore ignore the uh, axis rotations of the other ship over there in the corner. Line it up here. So I'm only going to press D to rotate. And as you can see, that's all I get. There's no pitching or tilting. If I stop and look straight, because the ship is balanced, I don't get any other effect. If I pitch forward and back, that's all you get. So that's the goal, and the same with the roll. All you get is roll. I'm sliding because of the um, hover engine down there is pushing me. But as you see, I don't tilt and head the other direction because it's balanced. So that's the goal when you are deciding where to place your adjusters around your ship. And obviously it can get pretty challenging as you've seen from the previous ship um, I actually didn't really plan it out all that well, so it's fairly unbalanced as far as the rotations are concerned. But I know how to deal with it. I know that it will roll, so when I turn, I can kind of do the opposite input to balance it out. Okay? So I hope that explained a little bit about how to read the inertia matrix. If you have any other questions, you can join our Discord, which is in the description below. And you can also head over to our website if you want to join Infinity Corporation. Thanks for watching, guys. And again, let me know if there's any com comments or questions. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit subscribe and follow below. And I'll see you guys next time.